today aka battle fitness pdx i'm live here today to kick off our tuesday with a beginner kickboxing class so grab your gear grab your water let's talk about what's happening today today i'm going to take you through 17 moves i know it seems like a lot right now but we're only going to go through them one time each move will be about 30 seconds to one minute so by the time we're all done we're going to be nice and sweaty Feeling really good. I'm gonna set the timer and then we're gonna get warmed up. How is everybody doing today? I did a live yesterday on core and glutes, so if you joined me yesterday, I mean, I'm sure you're feeling pretty good. So, for warm up, first off, we are going to be hinging at the hips. Your feet are out wide and you're hinging. So, you're gonna come out as wide as you can. Hinging at the hips, your hands are planted on the floor, you're gliding side to side. So we're going to get a nice lower body warm up, inner thigh. You don't see my body or my upper body bobbing back and forth. My bo upper body is stable and I'm simply letting my hips get that rotation and doing all that work by themselves. How are we feeling? How are we doing? I was trying to get some links set. If you guys can comment below to see or let me know if you guys can see the links that I posted. I posted a link to my Instagram and I posted a link to all of my uh, Beachbody products. So if any of that interests you, follow me on IG. You know the drill. I uh, showcased my Energize, my pre-workout today, which obviously I'm like feeling pretty good from. And we've got two more of these, one on each side. Standing all the way up nice and slow, we're gonna step into a lunge hold. So I'm gonna step as big as I can with my left foot, dropping my right knee down, bringing my palms together. My hands are facing, my thumbs are facing out. Let me face you guys. So I'm like this, so I'm like guiding traffic. We're just opening up our chest, start warming up our upper body while our lower body is doing a nice static hold. So yeah, happy Tuesday, everybody. I asked everybody today what makes Tuesday better than Monday. Most people said tacos, and I totally forgot about freaking Taco Tuesday. And last one here, staying in this lunge hold, we're going up and down with our arms. We're gonna get nice and warmed up. And it's crazy because it's so weird that I'm not gonna have music. So turn your music on, whatever you need to do on your end. I gotta figure out a way to play music that doesn't go against the rules. Okay, we're gonna come on up. Other side, now I'm gonna step forward with my right leg. We're dropping it down, same thing on this side. Opening up our chest, guiding traffic away from us, warming up everything. Beautiful day today, it is sunny where I'm at. Thank goodness, because we get a lot of rain. And last one here, staying in that lunge hold, up and down. Let me know how you guys are doing. I can't review the comments until after I'm done, obviously. So, comment below and I will totally review afterwards. And last one. Okay, we're gonna stand on up. Next move, next warm up. We're gonna drive our knee into our chest, get in a nice hamstring stretch. Getting our body ready to conquer this beginner kickboxing routine. Now, I've always had a passion for kickboxing. Um, and, you know, my degree is in exercise science, and I've taught, and I've trained, and all that good stuff. And I love, I used to love taking kickboxing classes. So, I designed my own routine, and you guys get it today. I figured I'd start beginner. That way we can kind of work our way up. One more on each side. Beautiful job. You guys feeling good? Last move for the warm up. Interlace your fingers behind your back. If you have seen my workouts before, you've seen this move. It's a beautiful chest opener. Really getting our shoulders ready and opening everything up. Yeah, it's gonna be so weird not, I like I can do strength workouts with no music, although I'm like a, a music fanatic. And last one here. But something about boxing 
to the beat, it's going to be a little strange, but I'm going to try it out. So like I said, we've got 17 moves. Each move is about 30 seconds to a minute. I will cue you. So for the first move, your feet are slightly outside your hips and your fists are up. First move, we're going to be doing a single arm punch. All right, 30 seconds. You guys ready? I want your other hand protecting your face because if you are really punching somebody and defending, not that we are, this is all in theory, you want to protect your face. So your knees are slightly bent and we're going to get started in three, two, one. So I've got my right arm. It looks like my left arm to you guys. And we're just going to stay here for 30 seconds. And as you can see, I'm rotating right at my hips. My core is nice and tight and my abs are in. Everything is stabilizing your body. Good. We're just doing that single arm. Everything's rotating. My knees are soft. Beautiful. We've got five seconds and we're switching arms. Good, good. Three, two, one. Other arm, 30 seconds. And one arm's gonna feel, you know, a little bit easier than the other, which is always the case. One side is always either tighter or, uh, you know, better at what it's doing. Um, like I talked about yesterday, is our body loves to compensate. So there's always one side that's doing the compensation for the other side that's a tad weaker. And three, two, one. Next move, we're gonna go alternating hip, or hip, alternating hook. And I'm actually gonna step off my mat because it's a bit, bit sticky because I want you pivoting and rotating that foot each time you hook. All right, we're going for 30 seconds. We're going up and down. It's not a super tight, you don't wanna pretend like you're just punching a board. You want a nice, stiff hook, all right? You're engaging your biceps each time. As you can see, my feet, they are rotating, all right? You want a nice, soft knee still, and you want to make sure you have that rotation in your ankles. Good, guys. We've got five, three, and last one. Next move. So in between moves, let's bounce back and forth. Let's bob it out. Shake it out. All right, next move we've got, we've got a hook, alternating hooks. Same thing with my feet, with your feet. You're rotating each time, you're shifting your body because when you're hooking, you want all of your body strength to go into that movement. All right, you guys ready? In three, two, and one. Hook, hook, yeah, very good. You want a nice flex muscle. You don't want it to be too loose. You want it to be nice and gradual and maintained. All right. We are preventing injuries. We're gaining strength and preventing injuries. Like I said, I need to figure out a way to get us some music. There's gotta be, I know that there's music out there that uh, is considered to be, um, what is it? The non, royal music or whatever. I'm wondering if I'm able to use that on Facebook. Um, it's really hard to get a hold of somebody through there to ask, but if anybody knows, let me know if that's allowed. I don't want this thing to be mute, muted. One more on each side. Good. How are we all feeling? All right, shake it out. We are going into high knees, bringing those knees up for one minute. You guys ready? I'm sure you're nice and warmed up now. You can hear me breathing heavily. Let's keep it going. We're going in three, two, one. High knees. If you're not ready for the plyometrics, the jumping, you are just lifting those knees up as high as you can get them. Because this is still a beginner, so I want to emphasize, right? And who's to say that beginners can't jump? But I do want to make sure that if you're not ready, that is okay. Beautiful. We're going good. <laughs> Getting that heart rate up in between our neck, our moves. Good, good, good. Keep it going. You can see my knees are already starting to fatigue from my hip flexors. Not my knees. My knees are already dropping low. Beautiful. We got five seconds. Three, two, and one. Shake it off. 
Woo. Make sure you have water nearby. Always take a water break if you need it. All right, next move. We are doing re alternating reverse lunges. So here it goes. We're gonna step back, drop that knee down. Step back, drop that knee down. If you're not ready to drop it down as much, you can just be doing a, a step back. I just want nice hip extension, all right? So important. We're gonna be doing these for one minute in three, two, and one. And I'll just face you guys. Step back and step up. Step back. Beautiful. Let me get my balance. I'm breathing so hard. It's making me lose my balance. <laughs> oh yeah, that feels good on the hips after those high knees. Stay focused. Stay focused, Grace. Come on. Doing good. One minute. You can do anything for one minute. You may not feel like it in that minute, but I tell you what, if you push through and you finish that minute off, you're gonna feel so good when it's done. Keep breathing, in through your nose, out through your mouth. Oxygen, so good. We've got five seconds. How y'all doing? I'm getting sweaty. Let's do one more on each side. Looked at the timer and that's good. All right, next move. We're, pl we're plowing through these. This may be beginner, but it doesn't mean that we have to go super slow. We're going through and after this next move, we'll take a nice 30 second break. How's that sound? Next move, we've got a side kick. So you're going out and in. Your knees coming up, out and in. All right, if you need to kick lower, that's fine too. But I want you to get that nice lateral motion with your legs. All right, we're doing 30 seconds. 30 seconds each side. Y'all ready? In three, two, one, your hands are up. You're going out and in, out and in. Good. Oh yeah, my hip. I talked about hip cracking the other day. Yesterday when I taught, my hip flexors are so tired, but we're getting it. You know, the hip cracking is just usually fine. And three more seconds and last kick. Whew, other side, we're going right into it, protecting that face. We're going out and in. Whew, excuse me. I was gonna say I have better balance on this side. And I'm hinging, I'm tipping at my waist. We're really getting it. We're gonna work in all directions today. As you can see, we've got three more seconds. Two, and last one. 30 second break, guys. If you need to, stick with me. We're dancing around, feeling so good today. Yeah, because it's Tuesday. Some people said they had a day off, woo! Some people said they're eating tacos tonight. Some people said every day is beautiful. You guys are great. I'm gonna just keep bobbing around, staying warmed up, getting ready for our next move. We're good, we're 13 minutes in. We've got this. We are a little less than halfway done. We're gonna take another uh, break after a few more moves. I will cue when it's time. Next move, we are going with a forward lunge into a kickback with that opposite leg. All right, so we're gonna go forward and then kick back. Each time you kick back, I want you to look back at that foot. All right, we're doing 30 seconds each side. Y'all ready? And go. Forward, kick. Forward, notice how I'm turning my head. I'm not going super fast. That's why I made this a beginner because we want to learn the moves first. Forward kick. I am sweaty up in here. I need a fan. I'm sorry they don't have one. Keep going guys, we got five seconds and then we're switching legs. Last one right here, kick back. Other leg, we're going forward. Ooh, I gotta get my balance. Coordination baby, and back. 
forward and kick back. All right, you guys getting it? Breathing heavy, it's a good sign. Good for your lungs. Again, we're getting nice hip extension here. One of the best things for your hips that a lot of people don't get. We're always in a seated position. We're always at the office. We're always driving. One more on this side and stop. Beautiful job, guys. Woo, yeah. How y'all feeling? Oh, so good. All right, we're going into our next move. Feet are outside your hips. Knees are bent and nice and soft. We're doing a full minute of quick punches. You guys ready for this? Here we go. In three, two, one. Wrists are at your face. We're going quick. Notice how I'm twisting my abdominals. Everything is kind of bobbing back and forth. I'm not just doing this. I am moving my shoulders and my entire upper body. I have a nice shock bounce in my knees. The faster you want to go or the slower you want to go. This is for you guys. You guys move at what is comfortable and what is safe for you. All right. Just because I'm doing one thing doesn't mean you have to do it. I mean, I recommend you do that move, but you know what I'm saying. Doing good guys. We got 15 seconds. Keep going. Take, this is where you take anger out. Anything pent up, this is it. This is that move. Yeah, we got five seconds. Everything you got. And one. Beautiful job. Let's take 15 seconds. How you guys doing? Mama is sweaty. This is a calorie torture. This is it. Moving that body, it feels so good. I think it's like second best to dancing for me. Having fun. All right, you guys, we're going back into that stance. Our feet are outside our hips. Our knees are soft. This time, we're going uppercut to hook. So we've already done these moves. We're just now putting them together. 30 seconds each side. Y'all ready for me? In three, two, one. We're going uppercut, hook. Uppercut, hook. Good. 30 seconds here. Now, like I said, my knees are soft. I need to get off my mat because I want to hinge and I want to pivot that foot. You see my feet moving? They were getting stuck on my mat. Bad move. <laughs> we got 10 seconds here. We're hooking, uppercut. Good. You guys are doing great. Three, two, and one. Let's jump on into the other side. We're going to uppercut, hook, uppercut, hook. Now again, you guys can move faster. You guys can move slower. This is your workout. And I'm here to just give you a nice baseline of what should be happening. In the future, I'll definitely post some more advanced workouts, but for now, let's work up together. And I'm hoping by the end of this week, I'm gonna have a set schedule of different routines that I'll do uh, several times a week. And last one, beautiful job. You guys are killing it today. Yeah, so I want a schedule to where I'm showing up a few times a week. Yesterday I said at least once a week, and that got me thinking, why do once a week when we can show up a few days a week, right? So comment below if that sounds good to you. Comment below if you wanna see more of this and more workouts for me. Cardio, strength, core, like everything. Let's do it. All right, next move. We're going, reaching up, and we're driving that knee across. So we're doing a lateral reach up with a high knee. All right, we're doing 30 seconds. This, I'm gonna try and go as quick as I can. Again, stay at your own pace. You guys ready? In three, two, one. We're going up and down. Good. 30 seconds this side, 30 seconds the other side. We're reaching up and we're get that breath going. I may be talking, but doesn't mean that you can't give it your all. Sometimes when you breathe into it, it just gives you that oomph you need. 
three seconds. Two and one. Other side, guys. We're going right into it. Yeah, baby. Your hip flexors, your legs, your quads, your glutes are going to feel so good when you're done with this. You have no idea. <laughs> so good. Feels good to do that, huh? We've got five, four, three, two, and one. Ooh, I'm feeling good. Ooh, all right, here we go. Next move. We're almost done with the kickboxing series. We've got one more move in the kickboxing series, and I will end it with six moves on the floor. Not That won't just be our cool down. I'm getting a little core in there, kind of like every, every boxing does. I feel like. So this is our last kickboxing move. This move, your chest is up. We're going to be stepping into a lateral lunge and bringing that high knee up. All right. Don't worry. At the end of the series, I'll get you all stretched out. If you can't come all the way down, I want you to step to the side. Even if you're just getting that extension in your leg. You guys ready? We're here for 30 seconds each side. All right, here we go. In three, two, one. I'm stepping down and I'm bringing my knee up. Stepping down, bringing my knee up. Now, as you guys can see, I'm keeping that leg off the floor. If you need to step down in between, that's totally fine. This is a great way to build balance. You guys are looking good. We've got about five seconds. Oh yeah, baby. Three, two, and last one. Let's jump right into the other side. Moving my mat all around. All right, here we go. We're going down this side. Beautiful. That probably feels really good on that inner thigh. Nice stretch on your adductor muscles. You guys are looking good. Really drive that knee up each time. Keeping your chest as far back as you can, remaining and keeping it nice and open. You guys look great. We got five, four, three, two. I'm gonna do one more. Nice job, everybody. We are coming down onto our hands and knees. We are not done yet, but we are on the floor for the next remaining of this series. So if you didn't get enough yesterday, we're going into a plank hold. Uno momento. Minuto, I'm, my brain's not all over the place. We're going for one minute plank, all right? I want you to do what you can do the, and what suits you the best. If you're on your hands and knees or you need to drop down to your knees, that's fine. I'm coming up to my hands. My hands are underneath my shoulders and we're popping up. We're starting in three, two, one. I had to step forward. I want to make sure you guys can see me. We are holding this plank. I feel like every boxing class I've ever taken has done ab stuff. <laughs> so you're welcome. I'm sweaty. I'm sure you're sweaty. We're 23 minutes into it. This is the perfect lunch break cardio kickboxing class. If you're at work right now, push pause on your office and push play on my class. Doing good. We're halfway there. Keep holding it. My feet are hip distance apart. My glutes and my belly and my body is as stiff and as close to the floor as possible. I'm getting shaky here. I'm fatigued and I'm tired. Good, good. We got 10 seconds. Keep holding. If you need to drop down your knees real quick, go ahead. Other than that, challenge yourself. Three, two, and one. Beautiful. Come onto your knees. Let's stretch it out before the next move. Remember this move, interlace your fingers and drive your hands away and back. Beautiful job, guys. Can you see the sweat dripping? <laughs> so good. So good. And last one. Next move, on our hands and knees. We're going into a downward dog hold with a single knee to chest with the kickback. Let me show you how it's done. So you're on your hands and knees. 
your feet, you're going to push your heels into the floor. We're going to do your left leg first. You're driving your knee up and then back. All right. We're here for 15 seconds on each side. Y'all ready? Downward dog. Let me check the timer. In three, two, one. Knee to chest, kick back. Knee to chest, good. Oh yeah, baby. Cherry on top. Your head should be nice and placed in between your arms. Your arms are locked out. Good, good. Last one here, we're switching sides, other leg. Knee to chest, kick back. It's hard to keep track of the time when I'm facing the floor. Good. Keep breathing. Good, last one right here. And come on back down to your knees. Beautiful job. We're going on to our backs. We got four more moves here. Let's earn every last bit of it. I don't wear my watch anymore, so I don't know how many calories we burn. But if you do and you finish this class, let me know. Super curious. Typically, I probably burn about 400 in our 30 minute, give or take, depending, which is pretty good for 30 minutes, guys. All right, next move, we're doing bicycle crunches. Bring your legs up to a 90 degree angle. We're reaching our opposite elbow to knee. We're extending our leg out each time. Y'all ready? We're here for a minute. In three, two, one. We're avoiding our chin into our chest. You're reaching and you're looking up at the ceiling. You don't want to be crunched. Protect your neck, protect your body. Beautiful job, guys. Keep breathing. Crunch, crunch. Everything's feeling good. Everything's working hard. We got a couple more moves and we're through. And we can go on to our the rest of the day. And we're gonna wake up tomorrow feeling so dang good. Keep going. Halfway there. If you need to take a break in between, let your legs drop down and then get right back to it. We got 10 seconds. Five, four, three, two, and one. Drop it down. Woo! Beautiful. Next move. Let's get right to it. I'm trying to do this class, you know, 30, 35 minutes. That way it's easy for everybody. I know people want instant gratification. So I'm really working hard to provide that. We're going into a narrow bridge. So your feet are together. Your knees are together. The inner thighs are together. Notice how my feet are as close to my glutes as I can get. My arms are out wide and we're going to lift up and down for 30 seconds. Y'all ready? In three, two, and one. Squeeze your glutes the entire time. Everything is tight. This will really put an emphasis on your inner thigh your adductor muscles, which we don't work enough. Those are always kind of neglected. So I like to add in really specific movements to target specific parts of our bodies. Oh yeah, baby. Going good. Five more seconds. Three, two, and last one. Beautiful job. Next move. Your feet are out wide. Your toes are pointed forward. We're going into a hip lift hold, and we're going to drive our knees together and apart. Now, if that's too much twerking or twisting on your knees, that's okay. You're gonna go up and you're just gonna hold it. For everybody else, we're holding, and we're going for 30 seconds, starting now. Bringing our knees together and apart. Now that we did that adductor uh, emphasis, why don't we do that abductor emphasis, which is the outer part of your legs? Oh yeah, baby. Feeling good, 30 seconds. After this, we have got one more move. Can you believe it? And then we'll pull it out and stretch together. In three, two, and drop it down. Beautiful job. Now everybody, we are going. Bring your knees back together, your thighs are together. Last move of the day. You're dropping your knees open and closing. This should feel nice and good after you just put that emphasis on your inner thigh. We're here for 30 in three, two, and one. Open and close. Keep stretching out. We'll get a nice cool down after this. I am dripping in sweat. 
Feels good to be here guys on a Tuesday. Feels good to be here any day. If you're the one that uh, had to come back to me, happy whatever day you're on. We are almost done. In three, two, and one. Beautiful work guys. Bring your feet out wide, drop your knees side to side, squeeze your glutes on each twist. Feel that nice quadricep stretch. Your hip flexors get nice and stretched. You probably feel it in your side. Yeah, baby. Nice work today, guys. Like I said, put push play on your music. Add a little spunk to it. I'll figure out how to put music on and what won't get muted via the book of face. <laughs> Last one here. All right, from here, you're gonna straighten out your left leg. You're gonna drive your right knee into your chest. We're gonna give your foot a little twist, back and forth, couple circles. Looking good. Like I said, my goal is to keep these under 35 minutes, and that's including a good warm up and cool down. With your left arm grabbing your right knee, your right arm comes out, you're pulling with your left arm, pulling your knee across your chest, and you're taking a gaze at that right arm that's stretched out. Beautiful, guys. You're gonna feel a nice stretch right here in that leg and glute, hamstring, I feel it's so good. So good. I was talking about doing a lacrosse ball lesson. If you guys don't know about the lacrosse ball, whoo, you wanna get those pressure points in your glutes and hips? My goodness. Maybe start with the tennis ball first, but that'll all be included with the lesson. That is TBA, to be announced. And we're gonna slowly bring it back all on this side. I'm gonna to turn to face you. Don't mind me. We're gonna stretch out that right leg. Bring your left knee into your chest. Give that left ankle a nice twist. Oh yeah, this feels good, huh? Beautiful job today, guys. And we're gonna use your right hand to pull your left knee across. Reaching out with your left arm, taking a gaze at your left hand. Getting that full rotation in your spine really shaking off everything that we just did to our bodies. So good. Well, I'm glad it worked without music. I'm such a upbeat girl. I need, I like doing stuff, especially boxing to the beat. I feel like it makes such a big difference. It happened to me yesterday when I was live too. Last one, come to your knees, set that right foot forward. Same thing, interlace your fingers. Get that nice hip flexor stretch. Get that chest. Uh, protraction or retraction, excuse me. I'm tired. And last one. Bring it on up. Coming into a wide stance. We're going to bring the chest up and we're going to bring the shoulders forward. Up and down. You guys, thank you so much for joining me. We got a couple more of these. You can always go back, rewind, push play. Give me some feedback in the comments. I'd love to hear from you. Let me know if there's any, anything specific that you want me to do as a workout. I'm here for you guys. So grateful for everybody. Namaste. Have a beautiful day. So happy.